No, I'm not playing Sonic 1 on the PS3, or on Steam, or in Sonic Origins, or quite literally any modern version. I got every single achievement in the original Sega Genesis version of Sonic 1. Now before you go thinking I've finally lost my mind, which honestly is a fair thing to think about me at this point, this claim is completely true, and it's all thanks to this website. Frankly, I don't know how it works, it's probably magic, but all that matters is that it works, and that it's cool. So, how did I do it? And just how many hoops did I have to jump through in order to do it? Well, Sonic 1 has 24 achievements in total. Some of them piss easy, and some of them piss annoying. At a quick glance, I could already tell that this achievement, Complete Victory, would be the biggest time sink. Most of these achievements, like Oxygenated Hedgehog or Lava Speed, can be completed using level select if needed. But a full playthrough of the game from start to finish while also collecting the Chaos Emeralds would need to be my biggest priority priority, because I only have a limited amount of tries to get the emeralds per playthrough. So, with that knowledge, let's start from the top, shall we? The first thing I wanted to do was knock some of the shorter achievements off the list before I started my full playthrough. For example, I got Amateur Collector by collecting 20 rings, Super Speed by getting 50 rings in the first 25 seconds of a level, just fucking barely might I add, then Ring Collector and Pro Collector for getting 100 and 200 rings respectively. Beating Green Hill Act 1 gets you the That Was Easy achievement, then in Act 2 I can follow this specific route to get the Speed Shoes, Shield, and invincibility at the same time for Z Almighty Box Smasher. I did end up having to use level select a couple times before getting this one though, which taught me that level select was usable for some of these, which is a huge relief. Then, after a few resets because I suck at video games, I get very close shave by beating a level with 9.59 on the timer. Waiting almost 10 minutes to get an achievement sounds like a real exercise in frustration, so it's a damn good thing I can manipulate time at will. On my next visit to Green Hill Act 2, I spend an unfortunate amount of time trying over and over again to grab this extra life in the most idiotic, convoluted way possible, before finally swallowing my pride and doing it the right way. This nets me the Green Life achievement, and also lets me start actually playing through the entire video game almost 40 minutes in, Jesus Christ. My main focus is, again, going to be getting the Chaos Emeralds for the complete victory achievement, which if you haven't played Sonic 1, means I'm in for a playthrough full of anxiety anxiety and dread. In Sonic 1, you get 10 chances to enter a special stage by bringing 50 rings to the end of a level and jumping into this giant ring. Why are there only 10 chances when there are more than 10 levels in this game? Because for some reason, Sega made a decision, nay, a decree. None shall be able to enter a special stage on Act 3 of a zone, nor shall anyone be able to enter a special stage in Scrap Brain Zone at all. WHY THE FUCK ARE YOU ALL CLAPPING? THIS IS AWFUL! So because of this, and because there are many different ways this process can go wrong, including getting hit at the end of the stage and losing all your rings, Wait a minute. No! The wonky jumping physics leading you to miss the ring and thus miss that opportunity entirely, Please jump in! The special stage itself being an uncontrollable nightmare that was crafted by the most masochistic ball flicker at Sega. Ah! I'm going to be suffering. But in the meantime, here's where I get the pit stop achievement for getting four checkpoints in one level. And then after beating Green Hill and Marble Zone, I get the floor is lava and love those springs. Two of the seven achievements you can get just by playing through the game. Not long after I get the All right, high score achievement for getting 100,000 points. Hey, we got a lot of achievements there. How's getting those Chaos Emeralds going? <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, here's Don't Get Lost for making it to Labyrinth Zone. Once there, I try to get what should be a relatively simple achievement. Oxygenated Hedgehog requires that you start drowning and then save yourself at the last second from it. But no matter how close I cut it, nor whether I caught my breath by jumping out of the water or using an air bubble, the achievement just wouldn't trigger. Now, full disclosure, at some point earlier on, I used debug mode in order to show off one of this game's quirks. 
So it's possible I activated some kind of anti-cheat that stopped me from getting this achievement until I restarted the emulator. But while that would explain why leaderboard attempts stopped working, that doesn't really make sense. I was able to get literally every other achievement save for a couple with this anti-cheat tripped. I didn't really know what the deal was, so I left it on the back burner for now. And besides, who needs debug mode when this level has weird quirks all on its own? Oh, dear. Oh, most likely oh, just... oh, woo! Look at him go. Uh, how, how this, do you part do is, this part is definitely supposed to be water. Where'd the water go? Where did the how water did, go? Actually, where did the fine. water go? <laughs> Labyrinth zone, but good! <laughs> we found God it. Damn it! Finally! Better Wait, <laughs> Yeah, this special stage system sucks, but no need to worry, because after getting my shit together in Act 2, I grabbed the last Chaos Emerald and unlocked the Gotham All achievement, lifting a huge weight off my shoulders. Soon after that, I completed Labyrinth Zone to get Shooting Star, then right in Act 1 of Starlight, I can break this wall to get the Invincibility Monitor to get Star Spangled, and... Honestly, not much else happened in this playthrough. As long as I didn't die and lose the continues I had racked up, I was free to finish the rest of the levels and unlock Watch Your Back for making it to Scrap Brain Zone, The Final Encounter for making it to Final Zone, Take Out the Trash for beating Final Zone, and finally, Complete Victory for beating the game with all the Chaos Emeralds. At this point, there were only four achievements left, and I was confident that the hardest parts of this journey were behind me. But while I may technically have been right, I wasn't expecting just what was coming up. Time to use level select to knock out the three easier achievements I have left. Lava Speed requires you to beat Marble Zone Act 1 in under 90 seconds. This is honestly pretty easy as long as you don't get hit too much, even if you lose a bit of time missing some platform cycles. My run was pretty sloppy all things considered, and I still made it with 7 seconds to spare. Then in Marble Zone Act 2, I ended up missing this achievement where you simply have to bounce on these marble... floors? until you rack up 10,000 points from it. Doing this nets you the Bouncing Combo Master achievement. Now I'm back in Labyrinth Zone trying to get the Oxygenated Hedgehog achievement, and it just still wasn't working. After a while of trying in vain at several different points, I eventually decide to completely restart the emulator, following the advice of this commenter that said to update Retroarch to the latest version. Upon doing that, the achievement worked on the first try. Frankly, I have no idea what to make of this. Whether it was an anti-cheat tripping and making only this specific achievement break for some reason, or simply having an outdated version of Retroarch, despite this suggestion being from a comment made in 2021, and me being pretty sure my version was newer than that. If I end up doing this again, I guess I'll now have to be aware of some patented retro achievements jank. But now it's time for the last achievement, and... Oh boy. Underachiever. Complete Green Hill Zone with no more than 1,000 points. Seems pretty simple, right? I mean, each badnik only gives you 100 points, and the ring bonuses aren't that bad even if you pick up a couple rings. So this sounds pretty lenient. There's one problem with that. Beating Robotnik in Act 3 earns you... 1,000 points. That means you aren't allowed to get any points. At all throughout three whole acts. If you kill even a single badnik, reach the end of the stage with even one ring, or even get a single drop of time bonus, time to reset and do it all again. And yeah, it's only three levels, it's not like you have to play the whole game with this stipulation, but fucking hell, the moment you're expected to do something perfectly with no room for error, you just know you're gonna be more prone to mistakes. Just look at these mistakes I make. What is it, Lucy? <sighs> Woo! Woo! No! I am not smart. Oh, I'm pretty sure they do. No! Some of these may seem stupid, and yeah, some of them are, but going through a Sonic level and being expected to ignore a good amount of the mechanics is something that my brain has to actively reprogram itself to do. It was a struggle, that's for sure. So, how did I actually do it?
In all honesty, it just comes down to being able to dodge the badniks in just the right way. In Act 1, you're given a lot of leniency in how you can move around and jump over things, so this is probably the easiest of the three stages. Coming up to this tube, you want to hold left and avoid launching upwards. If you launch from this tube, where Sonic will end up launching himself is, as far as I know, completely random. So there's a chance you'll end up slamming into one of the badniks by sheer dumb luck, and you'll lose your run. Instead, following the bottom path will not only give you consistent obstacles to dodge, but also these convenient badniks and this set of spikes to easily lose your rings with minimal risk of grabbing more on accident. Be careful at this last jump, because if you fuck it up, the screen will lock with no way for you to lose the rings you grab. After that, you're at the goal, but you shouldn't complete the level just yet. Remember, there's a time bonus to contend with that'll give you points if you beat the level too quickly. Instead, activate your latent time manipulation powers and only beat the level when the timer is past 5 minutes. This will give you no time bonus and let you continue with zero points. Act 2 is more of the same, just a bit harder. The key here is to not rush things. Making a risky jump is more than likely going to lead to you destroying an enemy by accident. You're much better off tiptoeing through each of these levels, watching each enemy carefully to see what they do, and then reacting accordingly. By this point in the level, I take a hit on this enemy, and then take the bottom path down here to dodge the tunnel full of rings. As long as you're careful and don't do anything dumb, this bottom path has no risk of grabbing rings and gives you an easy spot to wait at the goal for the five minute mark. Act 3 is the second easiest level in my opinion, but at this point my nerves would be so high that I would end up making a stupid mistake anyway. Again, take your time, take no risks, and inch your way forward. Even if you end up losing a life to something, as long as you didn't get any points it's actually not that big a deal, just keep going. I end up taking the bottom path here, which is a mistake since there's more badniks to potentially lose your run to. You should instead focus on taking the top path and not worry about needing to lose your rings. Once you reach the boss, you're basically home free. If you have any rings, just be sure to lose them all before dealing the final hit, getting your 1000 points, and making sure not to forget to wait the 5 minutes for the love of god. You only get 1000 points. I think that's it. We'll see. I hope it fucking pops. It's probably after this. It's probably after this. Hey. Mastered Sonic the Hedgehog! And there you have it, Sonic 1 has been mastered. Overall, this wasn't really as hard as I thought it would be. Retro achievements tend to have this reputation of having balls to the wall, utterly insane achievements. And yeah, some of the achievements in other Sonic games are fucking ridiculous, but this game was relatively tame, with the harder achievements being more of a fun challenge than a frustrating test of patience. But who knows, maybe if I find the time, I'll do another one of these if you guys want me to. This was a pretty good time, all things considered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go get Sonic some towels. He still looks pretty waterlogged from all that drowning I forced him to endure earlier.